Hello, how are you today? I am very well, thanks you. I have been really enjoying my sociology revision. Yes, it is really good to do lots of revision. It makes me feel very confident. Can you remind me of the layout for the health section? Of course. We need to spend 50 minutes on the health section. Answer the short answer questions. One defining a term, then another asking for three reasons or factors related to health. Then answer an outlined question worth 12 marks. Remember our teacher advised us to spend about 15 minutes on this question looking at a range of reasons for something then and evaluating in every paragraph, finishing with a conclusion. Then a 20 mark assess essay question on health. And what are the main topics we need to revise? I know we have been told this information before but it is a useful reminder. For health we need to know the main theories of health explaining the role of medicine and the health professions from the perspective of functionalists, Marxists, feminists, Weber, Foucault, complementary medicine, postmodernism as well as the medical and social model approaches. Yes. Also the social construction of health, illness and the body. That is to say they believe things are not natural or biological but are created by the people in a society. Uh -huh. The sociological study of the nature and distribution of mental illness. For example, the labeling approach compared to the structuralist approach. Oh yes, we spent so long on this in class. I am so glad Simon gave us the opportunity to practice writing those essays. The final massive massive topic is that of inequalities. Oh yes. We need to explain the patterns of health and illness by social class, gender, ethnicity, age, region and internationally. For sure. Use the main explanations. The artifact approach, the social selection slash natural view, the cultural slash behavioral view and the structural slash material view. And we need to talk about issues of access and demand. Yes, what about the other sections? methods in context. Apply the strengths and weaknesses of the method to the issue given. Marmite sandwiches come with custard creams. Method, strength, comparison, weakness, comparison, conclusion. And last but by no means least is the pure research method section. We need to know the key terms for research methods, the sampling methods, factors affecting choice of topic, and how to evaluate research methods. Think pervert. The 20 mark methods essay will ask us to examine something. This is different to an assess essay. Think pervert. Define the method. Puri. If the question asks for advantages then every paragraph must start with an advantage and then you must directly evaluate it in the same paragraph. If the question asks for disadvantages then you must start each paragraph with a disadvantage and directly evaluate in the same paragraph by stating how to overcome the problem or bringing in a relevant advantage. And Don and Dapos, T forget to finish with a distinct conclusion. Use the word triangulation as well. What an interesting chat. I agree. I hope the cameras have been rolling because I would like to watch it back again on the day of my exam to remind me of the layout.